one way of looking at the purity of the product formed in this synthesis is to use thin layer chromatography, which gets abbreviated to TLC. The TLC plate that is used contains alumina that has been treated with a fluorescer. The alumina itself is stuck either on the back of a plastic or aluminium support material. When handling a TLC plate, it's best to hold it by its edges so you don't transfer any contaminants to the face. To mark up a TLC plate, pencil, not ink pen, must be used. Draw a straight line to mark the position where you're going to apply the samples under test. Make up some solutions of the samples under test. Here we're going to make a solution of pure benzocaine and the benzocaine produced in the reaction. We dissolve up small amounts of our sample into an appropriate solvent, such as ethyl ethanoate. We use a capillary tube to apply small amounts of the solvent-solute mixture to the markings on the plate. We put several layers, one on top of each other, and try and make the spot as small as possible. We don't want large blobs because it leads to inaccuracy if we were doing measuring of RF values. Before we run the TLC, we put the plate under an ultraviolet light. Because the sample applied has covered over the fluorescer, it appears as a dark spot against a green fluorescing background. You can also check there are no impurities elsewhere on the plate at this point. The plate then needs to be put in a sealable jar with some appropriate solvent. The solvent mixture is ethyl ethanoate with cyclohexane in it. Ensure that the solvent level starts below the pencil line, otherwise the mixture will simply dissolve into the solvent. After a while, the solvent mixture passes up through the alumina of the TLC plate, and depending on the intermolecular bonding of your samples, it will progress up the plate at different rates. And we stop the TLC before the solvent front gets to the top of the plate. As soon as the solvent front gets near to the top of the plate, we unscrew the jar, take out our sample, and immediately mark the position of the solvent front. If you wait more than a few seconds, it will start evaporating, and you won't know exactly where the solvent has got to. We would need to know where the solvent has got to if we were making calculations of RF values. The plate is then left to dry and put back under the ultraviolet light, and the positions of where the spots have moved is marked. If the product contained a mixture, we would see a dot for each component. If the product was not benzocaine, the dot or small circle would not be exactly in the same position as the pure benzocaine sample it was run against. TLC plates tend to be sharp, and so they should be disposed of in a sharps waste bin.